it's another beautiful autumn day and we're here at Summerlees Nature Reserve. It's our first time here since June. Then the breeding season was in full swing and the reserve was teeming with new life. Looking out from the Rotary Height, the most numerous species on view are mute swan. Mute swans form long lasting pair bonds, but if one of the pair dies, they will find new mates. A little grebe dives below the surface of the water and the gag wall is about to get a bit of a surprise. This is a male gadwall and is now out of eclipse, back in full plumage. We move on to the pioneer hide, one of the two hides that overlook the scrape. There's plenty of water on the scrape and what looks like a good mix of birds. This young grey heron scans the water, looking for prey. And on the far side of the scrape, Another member of the heron family, a great white egret, and every year their numbers are increasing here in the UK. A glint of bright water momentarily raises our hopes that could it be a sight of one of Summerlee's resident otters, but the lack of telltale bubbles on the surface tells us that it's more likely to be a bird. And indeed it's a cormorant. The great white egret continues to hunt for its diet of fish, frogs and insects. Other birds on the scrape include lapwing and also widgeon. The cormorant leaves the water to dry its plumage on one of the islands. But looking further out, we see this juvenile common gull feeding among the black-headed gulls. The young grey heron continues to fish close to the hide, but so far has been unsuccessful. Looking further out, a shoveler swims by with its distinctive bill. Rabbits emerge from their burrows to feed in the early morning sun, ever on the lookout for danger. Another white heron flies in. This time is the smaller little egret. The great white egret is a much bigger bird with a yellow beak and black feet. It looks like it's spotted some potential prey and is about to strike, but is unsuccessful. The little egret is much smaller with a black beak and yellow feet. Now we have three members of the Heron family on the scrape. A pair of coot emerge from the water, allowing us views of those huge splayed feet. The great white egret comes a little closer to the hide, fishing within a few feet of the grey heron. Once again its keen eyes spots movement in the water, and it's poised to strike. This time it's successful, but it's only a very small fish. A flock of small birds descend into the reeds. They're a mix of linnet and young goldfinch, but it's mostly young goldfinch. Another heron visits the scrape, this time an adult bird, which duly sees off the youngster. The herons panic the linnets and the goldfinch, but they're soon back, feeding and drinking among the reeds. The little egret takes a break from fishing and emerges from the water to preen, keeping its plumage pristine and in tip-top condition. large gull visits the scrape, which we first thought was a glaucous gull, but 
the black wingtips indicate it's actually a juvenile lesser black bag. We move on to our last port of call, the Paul Breton Hyde, seeing more young goldfinch on the way. This hide looks out across the scrape in the opposite direction to the Pioneer Hide. And the great white egret also takes a break from fishing and preens in the autumn sunshine. Something puts the lapwing and gulls to flight. It's a female sparrowhawk that whizzes past the hide way too fast to film. With the panic over, the birds descend to the scrape once again. And that's it, the end of another really beautiful autumn morning spent here at Summerlees. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.